A hysterectomy is the surgical removal of the uterus. When the ovaries and fallopian tubes are also removed, this is called a hysterectomy with salpingo ophorectomy. A hysterectomy is done to treat uterine cancer, uterine fibroids, endometriosis, uterine prolapse, and other gynecological conditions. There are three main ways to perform this surgery through the abdomen, through the vagina, and or using a laparoscopic assisted vaginal approach. For the abdominal hysterectomy, your surgeon will make an incision in your lower abdomen and pull back the muscles to expose the uterus and also cut the ligaments and tissues holding the uterus in place. Finally, and remove the uterus through the abdominal incision. If your procedure includes a salping or forectomy, your surgeon will remove the ovaries and fallopian tubes in the same manner. For the vaginal hysterectomy, a wet speculum is inserted into your vagina to stretch it and hold it open. Your surgeon will make an internal incision around the cervix, cut the ligaments and tissues holding the uterus in place, and remove the uterus through the vagina. For laparoscopic assisted vaginal hysterectomy, your surgeon will create several small incisions called pots in your abdomen. Carbon dioxide, a gas, is then pumped through one of the pods to puff up your abdomen so its contents can be viewed more easily. Your surgeon will then insert a laparoscope through one of the pods. Images from its camera are projected onto a video monitor in the operating room. Watching on the monitor, your surgeon will slip specialized surgical tools through the other pods and use them to make an incision around the cervix. Cut the uterus from its supporting ligaments and tissues and pass it out through the vagina. A laparoscope can also be used for a salping of rectomy. Finally, your surgeon will close the incision on your abdomen with stitches. In all three hysterectomy procedures, the top of the vagina is stitched close and ghost parking is placed in the vagina to prevent excess bleeding.